what is going on people Tunji again from scissor graphics welcome to my how to use background series today we are going to be working on a design that was sent to me by one of my group members um, without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial so this was the design sent to me we are going to be redesigning this let's go straight to my slide all right so the first thing I noticed is the design like the health look, all right? Because normally when you're coming up with the um, health design, most especially your character needs to show the feel. And the other thing I noticed again is the, um, the colors. I realized that the colors are boring and um, they don't combine well, all right? So I'm going to be ex to showing you the color that we're going to be using for this project. And the other thing I realized again is that the layout is not balanced. All right, I realized that the text and everything is too big. Well, most time clients always think they are making good choice by asking designers to make everything big, but it's not always helping the artwork. The next thing I realized again is that there's no room for white space. So everything is, which is similar to the previous slide, all right, everything is looking too choked, everything is just full. So I realized that also on this artwork. The next thing I'm going to take you guys to now is the color and the exercise file that we're going to be using for this project. We're going to be using the analog color harmony. So one of the reasons why these colors are very good for showing health on your design is if you check out most of all these organizations that do things that got to do with health, you will notice that these colors are most of the colors they use. All right, so we are going to be applying the same colors on this project then so that take us straight to the applications we're going to be using for this project i'm going to be using photoshop which is what i'm going to use to adjust the color of my character and then i have illustrator all right so illustrator is where we're going to be doing the major work like putting the designs together these are the exercise files we're going to be using for this project so let's go straight to the photoshop and i'm going to bring in the image of the lady which is the first image we're going to be working on here so i'm going to drag that and drop here like so so i'm going to convert the image to black and white and the reason why is because when you're trying to depict when things are not going right on an image it's always advisable you make the image black and white and that is why if you watch movies you realize that when they're trying to talk about the sad mood everything is not always looking colorful another example is animation movies you realize that when they're trying to talk about things not going well with any of the characters you notice that the background of that particular scene is, is not going to be colorful the same thing goes with graphic design if you're trying to show that there's something wrong with your character it's always good to convert the picture to black and white so i'm going to do that now with this picture i will go first by um selecting the black and white adjustment here and i'm going to reduce the black like so all right and the yellow should go up like this so the next thing I'm going to do is to save this as a PNG file. I'll click on file, save as, and um, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this um, file, all right? And I'm going to call. I'm going to give, leave it as lady, and my format should be PNG. Now hit save. So I'll be asked this question. I'm just going to say okay. So that's just it on. Uh, Photoshop. So here we are now on Illustrator. So I'm going to click on File and select New. And for this project, I'm going to be using the 800 by 800 pixels. All right, because I think this is going to Instagram. And I'm going to leave every other setting the way. I know I need to give it a name, so I'm just going to call this uh, out. Like so and I'm just gonna click on create. So let's start bring let's first um bring in um okay so the so I'm going to um create a new layer and I'll call this VG hit enter so this should be behind this layer like so if you're a color draw user it's not compulsory you use illustrator all right so it's always good to use application that you know you are familiar with all right for me i enjoy using illustrator for projects like this so i'm going to be picking the green the blue color as my background remember the color harmony that i talked about before we get to this um, application so that's where i'm going to be getting the, the color from 
So I'm just going to make this like this and I'll lock the layer. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring the picture of the lady. So I'm going to select the uh, layer above the background layer and I'll call this lady. And I'm going to drag and drop the image right here like so. And I'll make a new layer again and I'll call this box. So I need to lock the layer of the lady and I'm just going to draw Now, the reason why I'm starting with this design is if you look at the design sent to me, I realized that a picture of a lady was used. So I'm trying to use this to do it the way I think it should look if I'm going to go with that particular type of design. All right. So that's why I'm, do, I'm working on this first. So when I'm done with this, then we'll go to the second option of the design. So the font I'm using for this tutorial is the bottom rounded font. All right, so this is it for the first option. So for the second option, we need to go to Photoshop and just put things together. I'm bringing in the image of the test scope. So I'm just going to drag that and drop here. And I'm also going to bring in the image of the mouse and drop like so. So the reason why I'm using these two images is this. Since it's something I got to do with doctor and I don't want to use picture of anybody. The reason why I'm using mouse is to let people know that it's something that got to do with you using a computer, all right, to get access to the doctor. So I'm just going to um, hide the layer of the mouse now and I'm going to zoom into the stethoscope. I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm going to hit Control Enter to create a marquee of that selection. I'll create a new layer. And I'll fill the layer with the color of this background. So I'm just going to select my foreground box here and then sample a color from there and click OK. And I'll hit Alt Backspace to apply that color to the layer. And I'll hit Ctrl D to deselect the Marquis selection. And for Mac users, just use Command D. So I'm seeing this shadow from the stethoscope. So what I'm going to do now is to select my brush too because we need to take out that shadow. Increase the size of my brush. I'm just going to brush like so to take out the shadow. Make the layer of the mouse visible. So since this is just where we need, I'm just going to reduce the opacity of the mouse. And I'll position it here, zoom out, and I'm going to scale it. I'm sure you understand why I would reduce the opacity of the layer so as to be able to see where I am positioning my mouse and I'm using the wire of the mouse to know the center of where to position the mouse. So if the wire of the mouse is at the center, 
of the pipe of the stethoscope, it means we are good to go. So I think I'm fine with this. Make sure you even push it up a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to make the layer visible again. I'm going to now crop the mouse. Hit to enter to create a marquee selection of the part, and I'm just going to select the vector max icon here to crop out that part from the layer of the mouse. And I realize that um, I'm having this sharp effect here, so we need to blend that. So I'll select the brush too and make sure that I'm on the soft round brush. So this is it right here. So the shortcut to bring the brush setting out is F5 on your keyboard, or you can always go to Windows and look for brush settings and click on it here I'm going to make sure that this is set to uh, white all right so i'm going to click on this icon to switch the color and i'll just go to brush all right go to brush now you can see now that everything is looking nice all right so this is not bad all right so here we are in illustrator so i'm going to zoom out now and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move this to this side of my screen and i'm going to make sure all these layers are unlocked I want to duplicate the project, so I'm going to select the Adbot 2, hold on Shift, Drag, and I'll hold on Alt, alright, and release my hand from my mouse to make a copy of the project, like so. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. So if you have not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like, share this video because I'm sure somebody out there is also looking forward to learn stuff like this. I'm going to be posting more tutorials again next week. Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.